Hello everyone, this is Adrian from CH. Uh, today we have a FA270T. Uh, that is the twin. Um, it's been converted to gasoline. This engine looks uh, pretty much like uh, the 300. I think this is the that was the last version that uh, after this they moved to 300. Um, they was coming the I know that the older ones they was with the uh, aluminum cast uh, engine mount and then with the uh, metal the heads they were actually bigger and that that was the one that I liked the most uh, to do the conversions on it because um, the fins were much bigger the heads were bigger uh, for better uh, cooling now anyway this one I didn't change the prop drive with the one from 300 I just adapted a ring from a uh, Sado 180 and cut a little bit here so we will clear for the prop when you tighten it down the sensor holder is for a, from a Sado 180B case okay not the older style um, the CDI ignition it has a uh, is the first one like this uh, it has uh, three sparks when uh, the engine from the start up to 1500 rpms after that it has two up to 4000 and uh, only one after 4000 rpms okay so it ha it runs pretty good i spent a lot of time today finding the right uh, carburetor this one it's one of the best that i have found a couple of them but i think i like this one better all right so let's start it Okay, I can find the throttle arm. I have not put the, the arms for it. Yeah. I have to think if I go in the right direction. Once you, once you uh, let it in idle, you have to work it a bit to burn out the excess. There it was that rich point that uh, I was saying. But it goes over it pretty quick.
So one of the things that when you go, uh, especially on this engine, and I know that 300 does pretty much the same, due to the in, uh, intakes that they are so long, uh, the fuel mixture it has to, it, uh, is really hard to get uh, mixed it right, and uh, even on the glow, they still have a little issue. So uh, it's running. I think it will be do pretty good on flight. Uh, I don't think that is going to be a problem. The prop, I'm not, I'm not sure if I said, it's a Zinger 2010, if the camera can focus on it, probably. Uh, what else? Uh, let's give it another start, because we can... Uh, wrong position. Good that it didn't smack my finger. Okay. It starts fairly decent. And uh, when you have something like this, you pretty much have to learn its habits, the way it likes it to run, how to run, uh, what else, I don't know what else much to say. You see, when it idles, for, when you let it go idle for a long time, longer, okay, it gets a rich mixture into the intake, since they are that long. Um, I try to adjust it, you know, to be leaner, and then you're losing the transition, so if it's, it's a, like a them if you do, them if you don't. Like I said, you have to learn the habits of the engine. All right. The idle is too low. burns that excess of the fuel after that it's fine you can do pretty much whatever you want with it This is it so pretty much i wanted to show you the good and bad on it so 
not to say that you know I show only the good stuff I show I show everything good and bad it's up to you if you like it or not like that so I think it's gonna be fine always I try to be honest about and not trick anything babysit the engine just to show that it works great so this is the way it works guys thank you for watching